With the end of the season fast approaching, Chelsea fans and all those associated with the club will be eager to see the end of this year's campaign. Despite their astronomical spending, the Blues sit 12th in the Premier League with no hope of European football next season and a real chance of finishing on the bottom half of the table. It's continued to go from bad to worse for Chelsea, starting the season under the management of Thomas Tuchel, before quickly progressing to Graham Potter, only for the Englishman to be sacked in early April. Club legend Frank Lampard has taken charge of what remains of this season. However, with six losses in his many games, it's safe to say that the Englishman won't remain at the Stamford Bridge dugout next season. With that in mind, let's take a look at those in line to replace Lampard as Chelsea's boss for next season and what they could bring to London if they do arrive. What's going on guys, it's me again. We're back with another in-depth video talking about Chelsea. Today we're going to be discussing who will be the next Chelsea manager. Looks like it's going to be Mauricio Pochettino but we're also going to look at another four managers that could potentially come in. Like always make sure you like, comment, share the video and if you're new here be sure to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell because I'm going to be uploading one video every single week. Let's look at the manager that's been revealed as being the favourite for taking the job next year, Mauricio Pochettino. Given his history in a surprising turn of events, former Tottenham boss Mauricio Pochettino is now the outright favourite to occupy the Chelsea dugout next season, with the Argentine reportedly close to agreeing a deal that would see him join the Blues this summer. Despite his loyalty to Spurs and the fact that they are too looking for a new manager, chairman Daniel Levy appears to have his eyes on another target. And the fact that Pochettino has been available since he was sacked from PSG at the end of last season, if Tottenham were to pull the trigger right now and sign the Argentine, they may well have done so before. And this has in turn opened the door for Chelsea, and it may well be a blessing in disguise for the Blues, as Pochettino boasts a fine footballing CV and could indeed be the man to turn the Blues around. The Argentine made a name for himself at Southampton, showing an appetite for developing young talent not too different from that which is at Chelsea at the moment. And at his time at Tottenham, Pochettino played 293 games and got an impressive 1.8 four points per game and even famously guiding them to the Champions League final back in 2019 where they ultimately lost to Liverpool. Moreover, throughout his time in North London, the Argentine showed mastery in getting the best out of fullbacks. Carl Walker, Kieran Trippier, Danny Rose and Ben Davis, and turning these four into perhaps the best fullback roster in world football during his peak years. And given that Chelsea has the likes of Rhys James, uh, Marco Correa, Ben Chilwell already at the club, Pochettino could well replicate his previous successful fullbacks, whilst he could also facilitate big improvements in fellow youngsters Mikhailo Mudrik, Enzo Fernandez, and Wesley Fofana. And to be honest, the only black mark on Pochettino's CV is probably his time at PSG, when he failed to win the league in his first season. Also, uh, he got knocked out of the Champions League pretty early on, even though he had the likes of Messi, Mbappe, and Neymar at his disposal. But if Pochettino were to arrive at the bridge, just like Porra, he will need some time. He's what you would call a project manager. So. He might not get results instantly, but if he is given time to build his team, it usually tends to work out alright. A few weeks ago, Luis Enrique looked to be the favourite to become the next Chelsea boss. However, recent events have seen the Spaniard distance from the Stamford Bridge. And even so, the former Barcelona manager is still unemployed, so there is still a possibility of him joining the club. So let's see what he has to offer. There's no doubt that Enrique has managed at the highest of levels, famously winning the treble back in 2014-2015 with Barcelona, where he was named the world's best coach. Since leaving Barcelona, Enrique has been the manager of Spain, helping guide his nation to a Euro 2020 semi-final and even being painfully close to a place in the final, only losing out to eventual winners Italy via a penalty shootout. Moreover, Enrique Spain fell victim to surprise package Morocco at the recent Qatar World Cup, crashing out in disappointing fashion in the last 16 with the Spaniard then departing shortly after. And whilst Enrique can sit down on the same table as some of the best current managers. Unlike Pochettino, the Spaniard ceiling seems to align with that of his squads, essentially meaning while he can get the best out of his side, he is unlikely to add any further value. But with a squad like Chelsea's which has such an immense amount of talent, a cool and experienced head coach like Luis Enrique can come in and instill some routine and normality at the club, which might not be the worst idea. Julian Nagelsmann is yet another manager who looked set to join Chelsea just a few weeks ago, but has also now seen himself being distanced from the club. Since his surprise sacking from Bayern Munich, which saw him being replaced by none other than Thomas Tuchel, Nagelsmann has been heavily linked with a few clubs, including Tottenham, Chelsea and a few others, but no concrete moves have been made yet. Before joining Bayern and during his time at Frankfurt and RB Leipzig, Nagelsmann was regarded as one of the most exciting upcoming coaches in world football, helping transform RB Leipzig into the third best side in Germany. Moreover, Nagelsmann was the man who brought Christopher and Kuchel over to RB Leipzig and has a great relationship with the Frenchman that can continue to blossom at Chelsea if the two were to link up again. However, if recent news is to be believed, despite being initially keen to bring Nagelsmann to East London, Chelsea owner Ted Bowley's interest in the German has supposedly cooled off, with multiple outlets now reporting that the deal between the two is now off the table. Granted, stranger things have happened in football, but given the current state of play, it's highly unlikely that the Blues fans will see Nagelsmann in London next season, 
at least at Chelsea that is. We did ask you on the same question on the Galacticos podcast, which manager would you like to see at Stamford Bridge next season? And this was his reaction right after Graham Potter was sacked. Everyone's saying, do they want project management? Do they want another project at Chelsea and stuff like that? And Nagelsmann's a project kind of guy. I'm not really sold on the fact that they keep talking about projects because there may be young managers. Maybe they're good managers. Like Maybe they're just good managers. Like I'm not too sure about the Enrique thing. He He's a guy that knows how to manage big players, big profiles. He's dropped big players from, obviously, international tournaments. He didn't even want to bring Ramos to the Spain team. But in terms of Nagelsmann, Enrique... Conte is now back available. I don't, I don't know if I really want Conte. Um, Jose Mourinho with money would be dangerous. We know what Jose is capable of, and I think everyone's forgiven for like going to Tottenham and Man United. And I don't think they'll, they'll mind just getting him back if he was able to steer us wins. Um, Pochettino I wouldn't take because he's Tottenham, and I never we never take Tottenham scraps. Yeah, because he's so. <laughs> Got yeah, I, I wouldn't want him, but I'm, I'm not fussed. I'm not fussed about any of them, to be honest, because I all feel that they, they, they're better managers than Potter. We're never going to be able to get Tuchel back. We have who, who do you actually want? Like, which manager do you want? I genuinely wouldn't mind. Like, I'm quite nostalgic in the fact that I like. I, I would like to see Jose Mourinho back in the fridge yeah. because <laughs> Chelsea's been only made from Jose Mourinho, so it's a thing where like. I know people feel like as if he's a dinosaur and he's right, outdated yeah. with his tactics, but I feel like as if he was just dealing with what he had to deal with once he left Chelsea because Man United were in a in a bad place at the time. Um, Oli obviously and him both done as what, what they could to get them into second positions. And obviously the Tottenham job, no one can do the Tottenham job. So I, I guess maybe Jose for me. Nagelsmann I'm not fussed with. I'm not, I'm not fussed. He's, he's a very, very short priced favourite to join. So it's probably going to be Nagelsmann. So I'm not really worried. But because Nagelsmann is supposedly, he plays a lone six. But Kimmich has been playing that lone six for God knows how long now at Bayern Munich. And this is why they concede goals, because in terms of defensive wise, they, they're not great and they concede goals weekly. So we don't really fit that profile of player at the moment. We need a DM and a striker. But yeah, that's how it goes for now. Zinedine Zidane. There's no doubt that Zinedine Zidane is one of the greatest players to have ever graced the game. And to be fair to him, he's also made a fantastic start to management as well. Zidane's best achievement in the dugout comes in his back-to-back-to-back Champions League triumphs with Real Madrid between 2015 and 2018, becoming the only coach in history to retain the title three times on the bounce. Come the end of his third season, Zidane opted to step down from his role at the Bernabeu. However, returned just a year later to help Real Madrid claim a league and a double in the 2019-2020 season. Following a difficult season in 2021 where Real Madrid failed to claim a single trophy, Zinedine Zidane left the club for a second time stating he felt they no longer had faith in him and he has failed to return to management since but he has been open about his desire to return if the right opportunity arises during his time in madrid zinedine zidane was perhaps one of the best man managers in the world and because he played at such a high level he automatically gets the respect of all the players in the dressing room regardless of their ego whilst other new managers struggle to get that normally and if he were to join the blues this could serve him well in taking control of a young expensive crop of talent as he would definitely instill some calm in that crazy dressing room however whether it's france psg or something else zizou has clearly had his eye on a particular managerial position for a while now turning down several opportunities to return to management and choosing to instead remain on the sidelines. With that considered, it's highly unlikely that Chelsea will be able to lose Zinedine Zidane. However, if a move were at all possible, it's certainly worth a try. Chelsea fans need no introductions to Jose Mourinho. The special one will always be regarded as the best manager in the club's history. In his two stints at the club, Mourinho led Chelsea to two Premier League titles, an FA Cup, a Community Shield and three League Cups, although his latest stint at the club ended on bad terms with the Blues sitting 16th at the time of his second in mid-December of 2015. Elsewhere, Mourinho has famously enjoyed success at Inter Milan, Real Madrid and Manchester United and then regretfully had a horrendous, horrendous time at Tottenham before taking over at Roma where he remains today. The Portuguese icon has become something of a cult hero in Rome. With his trademark off-the-pitch antics winning the hearts of fans, Mourinho helped Roma win the Europa Conference League last season, delivering their first piece of European silverware in 60 years and becoming the only manager in history to lift all three major European trophies. Mourinho has continued to excel with Roma again this season as the Italian giants find themselves in the Europa League semi-finals and with a real chance of securing a top four finish in the Serie A. So he may be unwilling to leave Rome even for his beloved Blues. As much as many of the Stanford Bridge faithful would love to see Jose Mourinho return for one last dance, he also still deploys that same defensive-minded low-block style football that facilitated his meteoric rise to stardom some 20 years ago. 
However, it's hard to imagine a game lending itself to Chelsea's current squad, and it's likely Boli will move in a different direction. What do you guys think is going to happen next year? Do you think Mauricio Pochettino can really bring this Chelsea side back to European football, back to the Chelsea that we always remember? I honestly would have liked Jose Mourinho back at Chelsea. That's just me. Nostalgia. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you think Mauricio can bring to Chelsea. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to be uploading like this on the regular, so be sure to subscribe. Like the video, share it with your mates and turn on your notification bell so you could always be notified of future videos. Thank you for watching again. Take care and peace.